Hi, and welcome to Back to the Future Trading, where all of your signals are predictive and leading and not lagging. Earlier this week, today's date, by the way, is January 27th. And yesterday, we sent our mailing list all of the histogram times for Wednesday and for Thursday. And each of these histogram times represents a time map, data mined information that projects when institutions and traders are likely to push markets higher and lower in the future. You can see here for Thursday, we have an equal number of time maps for the E-mini S&P, crude futures, gold, the NASDAQ, the DAX, and popular currency pairs like the Euro US dollar, as well as the pound dollar. When we click on the time map for today's E-mini S&P, we see that there are a series of blue and white lines. Now remember, this information was available to the people on our mailing list on Tuesday night. And so these times reflect what was anticipated or expected the following day, today being, of course, Wednesday. What was particularly special about today, Wednesday, was the FOMC report released later in the afternoon. We're broadcasting today from Eastern time zones. So all of the times on this chart were generated by a computer with an Eastern time zone. And so we can see from the time map that selling pressure was expected at all of the times denoted by a blue line extending vertically above the zero line. And so when we arrive at 6 a.m. Eastern and 9.40 a.m. Eastern and 10.55 Eastern, we were expecting institutions and traders to attempt to apply selling pressure to the E-mini S&P five minute chart. And conversely, all of the times on the bottom of the histogram represented times that we were waiting for uh, a repetition of an ingrained institutional behavior pattern. Patterns at key times, and in this case, 540, 720, 1010, 1150, and 210 represented times where historically, banks and institutions have with recurring frequency push prices higher. Now this is just raw data. There's a difference between data and a setup. And so one of the things we teach each week involve the following. Looking for signals that were expected to be buying pressure in the direction of the trend. And so if we arrive at a time that was supposed to be buying pressure, we propose entering at the close of that candle and holding it until the opposite selling pressure signal. This of course holds true or rings true in the event of a downtrend. So if the market is moving downwards, we're waiting for times that were expected to be selling pressure times. And when we arrive at the close of that candle, we sell it and we hold it until the next buying pressure time arrives. And so when we refer to these moments in our webinars each Tuesday, we refer to them as signals with trend or SWTs, probably some of the easiest uh, signals to keep track of. We place our stop one and a half ATR values away from the high of the candle plus one tick. So very simple signal with trend entry depending on whether or not our trend average will be progressing lower or higher. In this case, we're using a 120 period EMA. So the signal with trend is one of the easiest signals to keep track of. Let's take a look at some of the times that took place today. These, of course, are the times that are listed underneath the actual market price action. To the right of those signals, just so you can see, are the times that we published for tomorrow. So you can see already waiting for us on the right hand side are the predicted times. So predictive technology allows us to scan for patterns in the past that frankly institutions don't believe you'll look for. Most traders are so ingrained in terms of approaching trading with a lagging tool that I believe most of the institutional movements that occur are occurring blind to those people using those lagging tools. So we can already see coming up tomorrow morning, 8.55, 7.15, 5.55 Eastern, 
We have the overnight Globex session, the Asian session here as well, waiting for us. And we can just continue to drag that forward. So we're really the only company available for futures traders, Forex, option trading, where you can see the right hand side of the chart. We literally have a schedule or a series of appointments with the market tomorrow, which helps us with over trading as well as keeping track of profits. So if we pull this chart down and we just look at the signals that were available to, available to us today, we can see starting from the Euro session and moving forward, the times where we were expected to look for movements in the direction of the market. Okay, so we can clearly see from today's drop that the 120 period exponential average was moving down the entire session. And so when it's moving down, per the instructions we were just reviewing, we're looking for signals in the direction of the trend. So short from 425 Eastern until 540 is a six and a quarter dollar move. Short from the 6 a.m. input until the close of the 720 signal is around $30 or $1,500 per contract. Now, 940, just after the open, we see our first loss. And by the time this move gets to its climax, it's moved $24.50. That's over $1,000 per contract in the ES. And so one of the things we ask customers when we see such a large maximum favorable excursion is to indulge the idea that after around $500, we probably would have moved our stop to break even. Otherwise, if we hadn't, we would have finished $7 in the negative. When we arrive at 10.55, the next time that we were alerted to on Tuesday night as to a potential sell-off period institutionally, we again employ the technique converting raw data into a mechanical setup. And so we re-engage our ruler tool at the close of that 1055 candle. We decide to exit by the next counter trend signal at 1150 Eastern for a $28.50 move in our direction. When we arrive at 1150, we see that institutions do in fact defend this time in this area. They cover their shorts and take profit the same way they did at 1010, the same way they did at 720. And so now we have that appointment coming up at 135, a time that we've known about since yesterday. You can see in the cluster of signals down below that we expect to see much smaller movements in this cluster of time because the lines are obviously closer together and that can be an indication of chop. So from 135 until 210, we see another decline of about $8 another decline of about $8. We then have a two bar waiting period until 220. And again, at the close of the candle, we exit anticipating another push down because this time was discovered over the course of data mining thousands of bars in the past in the E-mini S&P. We hold it now until the first place we expect buyers to come in and defend an area. And so at the close of that candle, we are now down $26 in the direction of the trend. 345, we come up against our first genuine loss, volatile time, the last half hour of the market. And if we chose to trade during that period, we now end up uh, down $21.50. So across the board, this is my favorite part. We love to look at the signals in terms of the Final tally, we have 6 plus 30 plus 28 plus 8 plus 26 minus 21 minus 7 is approximately $7 per contract or $3,570 um, per contract or $3,500 uh, potential net profit. If you were trading in a micro account today, you would be receiving approximately one tenth of that or $350 per micro lot on the E mini S&P uh, micro. 
Again, these times were available to us on Tuesday evening for Wednesday and Thursday. And we do this every week with a review webinar, the link of which is below in the description of this video, where you can come and see for yourself what happened after two days worth of projections. What we're hoping you'll see is that the markets are not fair, nor are they random. And using the power of predictive technology, we can analyze and scan, taxing the full resources of your trading computer to actually do something useful. Discover when banks are most likely to push prices higher or lower. We have this sense universally that the markets are rigged. However, most of our tools and training over the past 10 or 20 years have led us to a lagging indicator gap where I believe institutions have an advantage. So go ahead and check the link in the description below and come visit us every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern or you can stop by our website at backtothefuturetrading.com for more information to take our video demonstration and schedule a personalized demo where we can look with you in a live one-on-one -on -one environment at any equity, any futures instrument, any Forex, crypto, whatever you have the data for. Our tool can analyze the historical patterns and tell you in the future the highest probability times to watch out for. Take care, everyone, and good trading.